All right, so I was just coming by this table right now and I see a bunch of guys with a ton of hard hats with a bunch of gadgets attached to them. Some of them are flashing, but this one in particular that we're looking at has a ton of wireless antennas. So I felt like we had to sit down, we had to talk about it, and it seems like there is just a ton of functionality baked into this hat. And the creator is right here. And first off, what is your handle? Uh, it's Lozaning, L-O-Z-A-N-I-N-G. You can follow me on Twitter. Awesome. So what does this do? First, actually, I'm going to ask you, how long have you been coming to DEF CON? Oh, I think the first DEF CON I came to was whatever the one that had the, uh, the, the titanium circle badge. I don't know if that was like 16 or 17. Uh, that would have been 16 was the really long one. No, and I was, think the titanium... The one was like a Egyptian eye logo in it? That one was, I think, like DEF CON, like uh, 18, 19, 18? somewhere around there. Anyway, it's, it's around that time. Long time. So how long have you been doing these hats? I'm going to get video of it right here. So uh, this is actually the first year that I, uh, I've made a hat. I've been coming to DEF CON, uh, like I said, for, what, I guess, 10 years at this point. And uh, I'd always seen uh, Mr. Bill and everybody else uh, around with all of their sweet hats. And I, uh, I hit him up on Twitter, and he said that there was nothing to it but to do it. So uh, I decided I... I had most of this gear at my house already, so I figured I'd go out and buy a $13 a hard hat like, uh, like everyone that's watching this should do and uh, just start gluing, gluing gear onto it. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. All right, so let's dive into the functionality. I'll flip around the camera, and you can point out things while you tell us what they do. All right. Uh, so down here, we got a, a Raspberry Pi Zero W with a scroll hat mini just uh, to do some signage. Uh, and then this uh, Nest Smart RTL SDR is capturing uh, ADSB, not so well since we're indoors, uh, but outside it works great. And then uh, this one is running a program called RTL underscore 433. And so that's uh, analyzing protocols on all the GSM bands. So anything from uh, like garage door openers, uh, like fan controllers, uh, God, what else? Uh, like wireless tire pressure monitoring systems. Um, essentially, anything that's using uh, uh, no cryptography in the GSM band, I'm, I'm live decoding. Um, and then I've got these two uh, alpha cards on the side here, hooked up to these uh, kind of ridiculous, I think they're 9 dB uh, antennas. And uh, those are both hooked up to the Raspberry Pi on the very front. Um, and then that Raspberry Pi is also um, with the built-in wireless chip on the Raspberry Pi on that one. Uh, it's running an AP, and then so uh, all the other Raspberry Pis connect up to that one so I can uh, manage everything through that, that, uh, that main Raspberry Pi. And then uh, I've got a dual-band 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz uh, alpha chip uh, glued onto the top of the Yagi, and, uh, and then two directional patch antennas, and those will both do 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Uh, and then there's, of course, the, uh, the whole giant Yagi. Uh, which I don't know how many decibels that is, but it's some absurd amount, uh, which has definitely been limited by the fact that I've glued more antennas to the top of it and uh, the, uh, the LEDs on the front, which is definitely hampering the signal strength, but I don't know. At some point, it becomes more of a performative art project than it does really a, a, a serious uh, RF analysis platform, I think. Um, there's also uh, another Raspberry Pi Zero W down in the front here that has an e-ink display. And uh, if my internet was working um, a little bit better, if my internet was working a little bit better, uh, this should be displaying my real-time live Wiggle Wiggle.net score. Um, but somebody is doing creepy things to the Wi-Fi here, and that is uh, not able to get to the internet right now, unfortunately. Um, and then I've got an empty spot right here, and I'm meeting up with some people in the IoT Village tomorrow, uh, where I'm going to get a one of their uh, new sniffer cats. And that'll really fill in a lot of the RF protocols that I'm not already grabbing. So that'll do Zigbee, Z-Wave, LoRaWAN, uh, some kind of weird, uh, what is it, thread, and then like uh, some kind of new, what is it, IPv6 LoRaWAN, like mashup combo thing. So um, once I've got that added up to the Raspberry Pi down here, I, th I think uh, everything but 4 and 5G uh, I'll be grabbing. So if, uh, if, if you're sending it, I'm listening to it.
That, that is amazing. That is absolutely baffling, the amount of work you put into it. What was the co total cost of the hard hat? Oh, the hard hat itself was, uh, the hard hat itself was, uh, I want to say $14. Oh, I mean, come on, with everything on it. Uh, I don't, it's hard to say. I mean, a lot of the stuff, like I had all the RT, uh, the, the SDRs already. Uh, most of the plies have been reused. Uh, I think that the directional alpha antennas were like $10. Uh, I bought another one of these. Originally, I only had one of these alpha cards on here. Um, but then it wasn't symmetrical, and that made me very upset. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm in for another $60 to buy another alpha card. Um, and then uh, just various, you know, you've got these like uh, real, real uh, jank net. So it technically runs over PoE. Um, and, and by that, I mean, I, I have Ethernet and I'm running power over it. Um, but there's no protocol associated with it. So it's all coming out of a 30,000 amp hour uh, USB-C powered battery to a USB-C decoy trigger. And then that feeds into uh, Ethernet breakout. And then that feeds all the way into the hat. And then it's broken back out into, uh, into it goes, uh, so this sends 12 volts out. And then uh, the 12 volts comes into here. And then it's USB bucket converters. So then I've got all my various uh, USB stuff just plugged in with regular USB cords, which is why there's a big old cable monster on top. Last question. Anyone who you suggest get into it, what do they start with? Do they start with a concept of what they want to do with their hat? Did you use some sort of open source project? It's like, did you find something where you're like, you know what, this is what I want to do for the concept of my hat, and that gave you the inspiration? Uh, well, I do a lot of wiggling, and so like a lot of this gear is just like is just like wiggle gear that I that I already had, um, and then for the like I said, for the most part, it was a matter of just going out and buying the hard hat, uh, and then figuring out how to actually mount things to it. Sheesh, that's awesome. Well, hey, thanks for watching. I, we have a few other ones we're going to check out too. So thanks for watching and hack on.